Here on the SU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Cody Sievertson, wrestler from Moore, Oklahoma. Got a pin against Central Oklahoma last week. And uh, talk about that fall you had against Brody Largent of UCO in that duel. Yeah, so I had I had wrestled Largent before in an open tournament that, that we wrestled in. And so the coaches and I both knew that, that I could get bonus points on him, either get a major, a, a tech fall or a fall. And we also kind of knew that that in the duel that I may need to get that for the team. So the coach did kind of pull me aside before and said, we may need bonus points for you. And so, so once I got the takedown, I just kind of took advantage of the opportunity and got the fall. You've had uh, open tournament titles at King and at Newman this season. What have been the keys to your success on the mat this year? I would say that, that one of the biggest things to attribute to my success would be my experience. Um, during the earlier years of my career, I would kind of get to those those finals matches and either anxiety or some kind of performance issues would happen and I wouldn't end up wrestling my best and, and losing those finals matches. So I would say that being there in the past before has kind of helped me perform better in those finals matches. You're holding the 11th spot right now in the 197 category. What are your expectations for yourself as we head into the postseason? Um, I have no other goals than to end up being a national champion at the end of the year. Um, earlier in the season, I've wrestled most of the top guys in my weight, and though I've fallen short in some of those matches, I've, I've been able to make corrections. I've been able to, to, to work on things that I, I kind of struggled with in those matches, and I, I plan on, with those corrections, winning those matches and being a national champion. You spent last season as a red shirt, just kind of practicing with the team and uh, kind of maturing your skills. What did that do for your career, do you think? Yeah, so, so like you said, being able to, to practice rather than, than kind of having that, that pressure of, of competing regularly. I, I did wrestle, but, but just in a handful of open tournaments, which, which is a little bit more laid back than, than competing and having to score points for the team. So I was able to, to kind of more focus on the problems that I had been having during competition and, and focus on just practicing rather than having the, the anxiety problems that, that I've had in the past when it comes to competition. And so I was kind of able to sharpen up my skills that I may have struggled in. What's your major here at OCU? It's uh, history, secondary education. And so uh, what are your career goals when wrestling is over? Um, next year, hopefully I'll be uh, teaching history at a high school and coaching wrestling. What has uh, sparked your interest in teaching and in coaching? Well, one of the biggest things, um, my, my parents and, and teachers and coaches I've had in the past have been really supportive, and I would say I attribute much of my success to those support roles, those people that I've had to support me. And I think that it'd just be super rewarding to be able to be that for young people and you know, help them be successful as people have helped me. Can you walk us through what would be a typical day as a student athlete? Yeah, so it's just a big day of, of practicing time management. So every single day, my, my morning is pretty free as far as classes goes. So I try to use my morning as, a, as an opportunity to get homework done. And then I obviously have to go to my classes. And then right in the middle of the day, I practice. And then I try to use my, my afternoon as an opportunity to get more training in, either lifting weights or running or doing some other type of cardio. And then also whenever I, I'm free in the evenings, try to fit more homework time in. All right, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Cody Sievertson. You can follow the Stars Wrestling Team on OCUsports.com. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. 
Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Stars baseball coach Denny Craybaugh. The Stars open the season this week, and uh, Coach, your team has been favored to win the Sooner Athletic Conference, ranked fifth nationally. What are your expectations for the team this year? Well, I expect us to do well. Uh, one thing about this team, and we kind of built this team around uh, going to win a national championship, and that's the goal. Uh, obviously, every year, if you're at OCU, we, we're looking to win national championships, but this year, We've got the pieces to be able to go up there and actually and do it. And I'm looking forward to getting started and getting after it. You've got several uh, guys coming back from last year, Jared Baker, J.J. Bissell, Carlos Chavez, and Joe Lytle, to name a few. What do you expect from your returning guys? Well, last year's team, when we talked about them, it was about getting our program back to respectability. Uh, we haven't, after going to nine World Series in 11 years, we missed two World Series in a row. And so last year it was like, hey, you guys have got to get us back to respectability. We've got to turn the corner and get, and get back in there. And they did that. They came within one game of getting back to Lewiston uh, under adverse conditions and, and gave us everything they had. We ended up ranked number one at the end of the regular season. And we're basically one pitch, one out away from getting back to Lewiston. So uh, that was last year. And then they came back this year and the goal is, all right, now that we got us back, now it's time to go back there and hang another banner and, and get back to it. And those guys, along with Hunter Markham and Skylar Janice, all those guys return her. I'm thinking that they've been really focused on that and our workouts have been going good. And the new guys have bought into that. And it's like, hey, it's time to go get back uh, this year and uh, go hang another banner. It's been 10, over 10 years since we've won a national championship. So it's time we do it uh, again this, this year. And they're, that's their goal, that's their focus. One of the new guys on the team is last year's Conference Player of the Year, Landon Kuhn. Uh, who are some of the other guys that we're going to see this year? Uh, Landon, uh, we're really happy to have him. Uh, obviously, he's a tremendous offensive player, uh, Conference Player of the Year, All-American. Uh, other guys offensively, Corey Lynn, a big right-handed hitter who has as much power as anybody we've had at OCU. Uh, he's going to be in the middle lineup, and we expect really big things out of him. Um, when you're talking about pitching, and one of the strengths of this team is the pitching staff. It might be the strength. Uh, new guys, Ricky Parr from Western, uh, Mark Simon, and uh, a junior college All-American named Kenny Roeder from Howard. And so those are guys, three guys, who are going to be right in the mix of things when you're talking about our team and new guys to watch. Uh, I think we're going to be very exciting to watch. Uh, this is the deepest pitching staff we've had since the national championship year and then the power we have more power and uh, and speed than we've had in years so I'm looking forward to it and these new guys I think our fans are going to really like these new guys and watching them uh, play day in and day out. Your schedule includes four teams that are currently in the national rankings. Uh, talk about how your schedule sets up and what kind of challenges it's going to present. Well we try to schedule big time ranked teams year in and year out. I mean, that's one thing that we've been noted for. We take on all challengers, all comers. And that's one of the great things about baseball is the baseball coaches really like playing tough, challenging schedules. And this year's no different. Uh, and when you, you sit there and you play those type of teams, you get a chance to really evaluate yourself on a national scale. And uh, we really enjoy them, and they're easy to get up for, easy to sit there and go, because you can sit there and, and gauge yourself and kind of position yourself. And it's also important for national ratings and, nas uh, and regional ratings and those type of things when you're talking about getting into postseason and where you're at and hosting an opening round or your seating when it comes to opening round tournaments and those type of things. So it's important for us to play those type of player uh, teams so we know where we're at and we, it also helps us nationally because we usually do pretty good against those guys. The program has created an endowment in your name. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about some of those processes and how those fundraising efforts are going. Well, the endowment was something that I've always wanted to do. I wanted it to be my legacy, I guess, uh, when it came to it, because I really wanted to try to create something to help the program and to, in these financial times, to be able to keep a program where it's at uh, nationally. And, and the university, uh, I'm so thankful they created the university, uh, Jim Abbott and those guys, they went ahead and created it uh, now. And 
uh, we've got we've had a lot of donations towards it already and it's just something that I'm so proud of and uh, and anybody can give I mean we're doing things here and there a lot of our players have given to the endowment we're talking about some fundraising events in the near future about trying to raise money for the endowment and it's something again that uh, I'm so honored to be able to have that and it's something lasting that's going to help the program after I leave here in <laughs> hopefully not for a while but uh, I, I'm, I'm so honored about it and uh, and anybody can give to it just write me a check and say you'd like to go to the endowment <laughs> all right coach thanks very much talking to OCU baseball coach Denny Craybaugh the stars will open their season this week and you can follow the team on OCUSports.com